Hi guys, welcome to Maneuver. As already the entrance exam dates are set in, it is important for all the law aspirants to know what type of questions will be asked in the examinations. So this video is to make you all aware specifically about the question type which will be asked. We have already scheduled our classroom lectures and we also have online portals readily available. So if you guys want to join, then I have given the link in the descriptions. Now for legal aptitude is one of the important section. So please pay attention. Now in legal aptitude, what types of questions will be asked? Questions will be asked, you know, which is known as legal and reasoning. It is based on the principles and facts. So now. Uh, legal reasoning plays a vital role as it is the most dominant part. It consists of principle and facts. Now this question type is absolutely new for you guys. So the basic idea is to apply the principle to the given facts and then apply it to the most suitable options. So here at Manoeuvre we give you not only the understanding of the concepts but also the best shortcut tricks whereby you can solve this given questions with the least time and the most accuracy now assertion and reason okay assertion in this type of question two individual statements will be given provided that you have to state whether these statements are true or false and if at all both are true then whether the reason is the correct answer for the assertion now you can crack this trick simply by adding the word because between the two statements and reread it so this is one of the most helpful trick when it comes to assertion and reasons we have got many more such tricks uh, tricks and if you want to you know know more such tricks you can join the classroom programs or the online portals then the last being the legal maxims they are also known as latin maxims why because this is mainly because most of the legal maxims were developed in the medieval area in European countries that used as the language of law and for courts all over the uh, country. So uh, legal maxims are one of the type of the questions. Now we will see some, we will solve some questions to exactly give you all an idea of the question you are going to encounter in the exam. So let's get started guys principle over here this is a principle fact uh, based question I have taken it from the contract law contract being one of the most dominant topic in your entrance exam a contract now first we'll uh, try and analyze what the principle is actually telling you so this is something like you know a formula which you have to apply for your math uh, you know solution or you can say this is an ultimate statement you know statement is something which is God for you which you have to follow so you have to go nothing where beyond this principle you have to apply the same principle to the facts and then accordingly to the options given. So I'll do it one for you so you get a better idea. A contract which is duly supported by real and lawful consideration is valid notwithstanding the fact that the consideration is inadequate. Now over here by uh, reading these two lines I come to know that the question is about the contract act and particularly from the consideration. Consideration being one of the most valid ingredient for your contract now a quantum of the consideration is for the parties to decide at the time of making a contract and not for the courts to decide when the contract is sought to be enforced now over here the main question is based on the quantum of the consideration okay quantum is the amount of consideration so they are trying to tell you that the amount of consideration is not important till the time there is some consideration an agreement to which the consent of the promiser is freely given is not void so freely given is means there is no coercion if an consent is given freely it is ab absolutely acceptable because the consideration is inadequate but the inadequacy of the consideration may be taken into by the court in determining the question whether the consent of the promiser was given freely or not so they have clubbed two ingredients one is the quantum of the consideration and other is the uh, you know coercion the whether the consent is given freely or not okay so if the consent is given freely then the quantum doesn't matter this is what basically the principle is trying to explain you now facts of this uh, this uh, case goes as a agrees to sell his mobile phone worth rupees 20,000 for rupees 100 only to B 
ACE consent is freely given. See, they are already mentioning there is no coercion, there is no force. Okay, there is no force, there is no coercion. So, this quantum amount we can actually take it into consideration. There is no problem because both the parties have mutually agreed to, you know, uh, buy or sell this the value of 20,000 phone in for just rupees 100. Now, which of the following derivations is correct? There is a contract between A and B. There is no contract between A and B because consideration is not adequate. There is no contract between A and B because a mobile phone worth rupees 200 cannot be sold or none of the above. Now you have to remember one thing, the principle, we don't have to get into anything else. We have to just get into the principle and see that the quantum of the consideration, you know, is not at all important till the time the consent is given freely. So we can say so none of the above this so won't be there. There is no contract between A and B because a mobile phone worth rupees 200. See we have not we are not here for any suggestions or you know any inputs. The law is very clear that the quantum of punishment uh, uh, that the quantum of consideration is not important. So any amount can be there even it can be for 20 rupees. Okay, so even this is not applicable. There is no contract between A and B because consideration is not adequate. See, the adequacy is not to be taken into, uh, you know, uh, consideration over here. The amount is there and the uh, consent has been freely given. So, there is a contract between A and B as the parties have mutually agreed to sell the 20,000 rupees for in just rupees 100. So over here you can s clearly see as I stated you have to not go out of this principle given. This is the formula which you are applying over here and you are getting the desired legal answer. Okay. Now I will show you the another type of question which is about the assertion and reason. We will uh, uh, we'll read this direction. The question consists of two statements, one labeled as assertion and the other as reason. You are to examine the two statements carefully and select the best options. So questions from this can fall from contract, it can either fall from, from constitution, IPC, torts, anywhere, okay? Now the assertion, okay, this is the assertion. What is the assertion? Republic Day is celebrated on 26th January every year in our country. So this is one statement which I see is individually a true statement. Now over here the reason being the constitution of India came into force on 26th January 1950. The constitution of India even uh, this is individually a true statement. Now over here the options are both A and R are individually true and R is the correct explanation to A. Both A and R are individually true but R is not the correct explanation of A. A is true but R is false, A is false but R is true. So these kinds of options you generally get in assertion and reason questions. Now over here if you will see, if you are any, in this case uh, both the questions, uh, both the statements are individually true but it, if either of the uh, you know statement is false then you have to click any of these options. But now given the fact that both the uh, statements over here are true, so now whether to see the reason is a perfect answer for this assertion or not, what I will do is I will apply because over here and read it, it with the help of because. So Republic Day is celebrated on 26 January every year in the country because the constitution of India came into force on 26 January 1950. So of course the Republic Day is celebrated only because the constitution of India came into force on this particular date. So after you apply this because word things becomes very much easy and sorted. So you can you know actually get the answers without any much of the complications. So I must say first is the correct answer for this statement. Okay. Now I will solve one of the legal maxims for you to give you an idea what exactly is legal maxim about and how it is asked in your examination. Choose the most appropriate answer. Okay. Now what is it? Audi altrum partum. Okay. The thing is Audi altrum partum which means does it mean not connect which means not connected to the facts? Giving opportunity of hearing of the other side following the substantive law or a transferee cannot retransfer. So audi altrum partum means giving opportunity of hearing of the other side of law. So when you will join our online programs or you are coming for the classroom lectures, I will give you a complete detail about what types of legal maxims are most likely to be asked and you know how to actually go about it and we explain you very nicely that how you can you know actually with the help of elimination technique eliminate the 
uh, answers whereby you can come and closer to the correct options now if you are guys if you are mumbai based then you can join our borivali center by calling on 907642 Four two zero eight, and if you want to join in the Dada Center, you have to call on seven three zero four three double triple six eight two. And if you are not Mumbai based, not at all to worry. You can join my online portal double eight two eight five eight one four double i. You can also visit us on www dot manuver edu dot com. And if you want more such informations, you know more such uh, about anything regarding the syllabus or any examination dates or anything like that. hit the subscribe button if you like my video please like it the hit button and uh, kindly share with your friends on facebook and whatsapp so this was nisha lotia from manuver all the best for your preparations